In this video, I'm looking at a power brick, otherwise known as a wall wart. Yes, I am serious. This is the Burson Audio Supercharger 3A. Let's get it. What's cracking audio fans? It's David here from Prime Audio Reviews. Yes, this is the Burson Supercharger, and this little guy promises to improve the quality of your audio by cleaning up the DC noise, which in turn improves the signal to noise ratio. Uh, we'll get into that more in a second. Let me tell you, first of all, the price of this unit is about 185 US dollars or 284 Australian. And the 5A is a bit more expensive, but well, let's talk about the 3A for today. I do want to show you the box here because uh, you might be wondering, well, can I use this where I am? Well, it's, it's compatible worldwide. It works with anywhere between 100 and 240 volts. It's got a 1.8 meter cable on it and included in the box are all the adapters that you might need no matter where you are in the world so that is very handy and by the way not only is the supercharger compatible with most Burson audio products but it works with other products as well if you uh, want to check whether your components are compatible check out my written review there's a link in the description or go directly to the Burson audio website and take a look there now I'm not going to get real technical in this video. I've basically said all I'm going to say about how it works. Uh, but if you want a really good breakdown on the technical side of things, there's a good video on YouTube. I believe it is by Passion for Sound. So go and check that out. He does a really good breakdown on the technical aspects. I'm here to talk about my experience with it and the sound. By the way, this uh, folds away like that. Don't know why you need to know that, but if you, in case you need to um, transport it or store it, that, that is convenient. Anyway, so yeah, it's it's um well there it is. <laughs> it's it's feels pretty hefty. It feels very nicely built. There's a single LED here that lights up when you're connected to the mains, and basically that's all there is to it. It is nice and slim, so uh, you can use the adjacent plugs in your power board or uh, wall socket etc so that is very handy uh, but anyway let's get into how this sounds now for testing I used my Burson Funk here which is, is a headphone and speaker amplifier beautiful little unit so I used that and for my source I used the SoundAware M2 Pro which is a DAP and I used that because it runs on clean battery power and so it doesn't really introduce any extra noise further up the audio chain. I, ten, I tested a variety of IEMs, headphones and speakers to see what happened after adding the supercharger to the audio chain. Now take note that the changes that I hear are subtle. You'll need some pretty good quality transducers to hear the difference. It's also worth noting that if you have noise further up your chain, above your amplifier, or before your amplifier, the effect of the supercharger won't be as obvious. But since uh, this product is aimed more at uh, discerning audio files, you probably don't need me to remind you of these things. Anyway, the Burson supercharger does indeed make a difference. Where I hear it most is in the imaging and the sound stage. The added cleanliness and transparency creates a blacker background, which in turn makes the soundstage sound more organized. Transient responses are improved, giving notes better defined edges. This makes the background cleaner and it solidifies that center image. As a result, instrument placement is defined more clearly, which you'll notice even more with a really good pair of speakers. Take a seat in your sweet spot and get ready for the show because it is pretty impressive. Micro details become easier to distinguish with the supercharger. This becomes even more apparent during complex passages where the extra control and precision make the sound as neat as a pin. So yeah, it does It does sound fantastic. You will, like I said, you will need some good gear to notice that difference, 
you'll need a pretty good system in the first place. But so who is this supercharger for and should you buy one? Well, that depends. Obviously, if you are using a lower end system, the answer is more likely to be a no. If you are using a pair of budget headphones or speakers, you'll most likely see more benefit from upgrading those before you go move on to this. However, if you already have a good DAC, good amplifier, and some nice speakers and headphones, and you want to squeeze even more performance from your system, then this could be well worth your money. So to sum up, the Burson Supercharger really does improve the sound of a good audio system. Yes, it is rather expensive for what essentially, essentially looks like a power brick, but relative to the price of a good DAC or amplifier or speakers, each of which can cost thousands of dollars alone, the Supercharger looks a lot more reasonable in that context. So um, yeah, it's a product for people who already have a solid audio setup in place and want to get the utmost performance from it. If that is you, then I can easily recommend you get yourself one of these. You won't regret it. I'm going to wrap it up there. Thanks for watching the video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Parfam audio file style. If you're new to the channel and you want to see more stuff like this, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And until next time, I'll see you later.